Shalom. First and foremost, I want to begin by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world knows Jesus Christ. And I want to give double honors to all the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who I know this truth from. And I want to say Shalom to the whole free lake. And you know, I got this article right here. I ain't had no title. The article it says, Crush kills at least 146 at Halloween festivities in Seoul. You see, and this happened in South Korea. You see, they were um, having the Halloween fest festivities. <laughs> and they got crushed to death, man. And this is... It's like... Uh, get straight to the point. It says... Halloween festivities in Seoul became trapped and crushed as the crowd surged into a narrow alley, killing at least 146 people and injuring 150 others in South Korea's worst disaster in years. You see, these the times we living in, man. You know, I ain't going to go too deep into the article. But um, it's second address 91. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of, of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. You see? Hey, and what the Lord said, um, he said, Measure thou the time diligently. And that's what we're doing, man, by the way of these prophecies. We see all these things, you know, playing out. And we know hey, what time we're living in. This Second 2 Timothy 3 and verse 1, it says, This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. You see, the word peril just dangerous, man. Hey, because, hey, you want to follow after the ways of Esau Edom, man. And you, you over there celebrating damn Halloween. 146 people got put to death, man. Hey, that's just the Lord. He's showing you, man. Hey, when this shit comes to America, man, it's going to be way beyond that, man. You see? This second edge was, you know, 15 and verse, verse 5. This second edge is 15 and 5. It said, Behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. The sword, famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. You see? Hey, he said, uh, um, the Lord said he's going to bring his, his plagues upon the world, man. He said, for wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth. You see? And, and who, 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 who's in control of the earth right now? Esau, Edom, man. That's why them niggas over there trying to have Halloween festivals and shit and get trampled to death, man. Because you trying to live after the so-called white man. And that's what the Lord, hey, that's what you get, man. The Lord had it where you got trampled to death, man. 146 of y'all. And 150 injured. You see? This second edge is 5 and 1. It says, nevertheless, as coming the tokens, the coming prophecies... Behold, the day shall come that they which dwell upon the earth shall be taken in a great number. And, and that's just a prime example, man. You out here lollygagging, you living your best life. You got a costume on, you grown as hell, celebrating this, this bullshit-ass holiday, and you got Trump to death, man. You see? It says, and, and they're just an, an example, man. It says, uh, that they which dwell upon the earth shall be taken in great number. And when Lord start bringing judgment over here to America, man, it's going to be, a, like I said, a great number, man. You see? Ain't no telling what the Lord, how the Lord going to do it, man. You got the famine brewing, teeth the wild beast. Hey, Jacob's trouble, man. Esau, Edom, man, he going to be out here like a madman sparing none. Uh, from, like they say, from 9 to 99, man. Esau ain't going to kill, man. You a baby or old person, man. You see, they saying the way of truth shall be hidden and the land shall be barren of faith. It says, but iniquity shall be increased above that which 
now thou seest or that thou hast heard long ago. And we see how wicked this place is, man. When the Lord said hey, he's going to be increased, man. Continuing on, he said, And the land that thou seest now to have root, shalt thou see wasted suddenly. America going to be wasted suddenly, man. You think this shit just going to go on forever? You going to finish college and make it here, have a kid? Man, this shit finna come to a, a screeching halt, man. You see, it just it, it, any day now it can pop off, man. Like like when the C nineteen first came out, it just popped out of nowhere. Everything on lockdown, even with the um with the war over there in in Russia, and um Ukraine. Just one day you, you woke up. I know that's how it was for me. I woke up, looked at my phone, and you see these niggas jumping out the sky over there, man. Shooting shit down, blowing shit up, man. Hey, that's how it's going to be, man. All hell is going to break loose, man, real soon, man. And now it's the time, hey, to repent and pray to you how about Hashem and Shai while the doors of mercy are still open, man. Because, hey, we see the times we're in, man. Hey, and it's, finna, hey, it's getting close, man. It's getting closer and closer. You see, hey, what they trying to do? They're trying to hey, get this persecution ready, man. You see that Karab going to have to come out. Hey, World War Three, hey, man, it's, hey, it's about to pop off out here, man. And you're going to end up like one of these people, man, trying to have fun, living it up, and you're going to die. Be one of them people that's going to be taken in that great number, man. And we we hoping to be delivered from these um, evils and terrors that the Lord finna send upon the earth, man. And matter of fact, I'm going to end it right here in um, Ezekiel 7 and 1. And it says... Moreover, the word of the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Al Shai, came unto me, saying, Also, thou son of man, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Al Shai, unto the land of Israel, and in the end is come upon the four corners of the earth. He said, The end is come upon the four corners of the earth. And it says, Now is the end come upon thee. I will send my anger upon thee. I will judge thee according to thy ways. I will recompense upon thee all thine abominations. You see, the Lord said he's going to uh, send his anger upon thee. He's going to judge you according to your ways, man. So if you out here, you know, you mocking the prophets, you scoffing, and the Lord, he, he just, that's the way the Lord showing his compassion, and you just, you talking shit, you talking shit to the Lord, man, because it's the Lord that has these churches set up throughout the four corners of the earth trying to get you to repent and come back into the true power and the, to the true creator of all things, man. And you, you, you pulling away the shoulder, man. So the Lord said he's going to send his anger upon you and judge you according to your ways, man. And it says, in mine, I shall not spare thee, neither will I have pity, but I will recompense thy ways upon thee and thine abomination shall be in the midst of thee. And ye shall know that I am Yahweh. You see, it say, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, and evil, and only evil, behold, is come. And end is come, the end is come, it watcheth for thee, behold, it is come. You see, hey, and it just pure wickedness out here, man. The Lord said, hey, that's how you know we're in the end days, man. Because evil and only evil, man. You just, man, just, just, just look, just go on news break and look at some of the articles that's out here, man. You just had a man decapitate his wife and stab a hundred times because she didn't want to give him no birthday sex. <laughs> hey, the love of men is waxing cold, man. These are the times we living in. Hey, now, hey, seek ye the Lord early while he may be found, man. Because real soon, man, hey, hey he's going to be a famine of this word, man. Hey, you better eat while you can. Hey, Lord willing, this video is edifying to you, brothers and sisters. And with that, I'm going to say shalom.